Welcome back to another VideoPad video editor tutorial with easy to follow step-by-step -step instructions. Thanks for joining me again. You've probably seen those click the like button and subscribe to my channel animation clips that YouTubers include in seemingly almost every video. Yeah, like this one. And I've thought, I'd like to do that too. Well, turns out the reason you see these all the time is that they're pretty easy to insert and I'm going to show you how to do it using VideoPad. It will require downloading the small animated green screen clips from other YouTube videos and in the description below I have provided links to three videos that have individual links to the clips they feature. So it makes it very easy to download. You simply need to figure out which one you feel is best suited for your videos. You can also find more green screen animation clips on other sites by doing an internet search. So before we begin, I strongly suggest you bookmark this video because I know once you leave a video, it's often frustratingly difficult to find it again. Adding these short subscribe clips requires using the green screen effect and it's an extra step and a bit complicated, but really nothing too bad. I will be walking through it slowly step by step. And if I can do it with my old eyes and my ancient laptop, you can do it too. I've downloaded a green screen subscribe button clip and added it to my file bin. And I've placed the red timeline cursor where I wish to insert it. I'm going to right click and choose overlay on sequence at cursor because you want your green screen clip to be above your main video track. As you can see it's green and that's what we need to make transparent. To achieve this we click on the FX icon which is add or edit a video effect and we click on the plus icon from the left hand side. Add effect template. And then we scroll down to the blending and color correction and click on green screen. Note that you can also access the green screen effects by clicking on the video effects from your top menu. Scroll down to the blending and color correction section and choose green screen. The exact same dialog box appears. Our green screen dialog box opens up and it has already chosen the green color which is what we want. If you would wish to have another color you would click on that color box and choose a different color such as blue or red depending on your quote green screen clip. We will be using threshold in a minute I did not use fading and or feathering. Bring your mouse over the clip when it's in the clip preview pane and you will get the little eyedropper and you click one time and that color becomes transparent. Sometimes it takes a second for that to happen. It takes a while for VideoPad to process all these green screen changes that you make. So you're going to have to learn to be patient. You may have noticed that there's still a little bit of green around our object and we need to delete that green. Right, see that little bit of green? Now we delete that by using the threshold and you need to increase this a lot. I would start at 30 and you can use either the slider bar or click your mouse in the numeric value field and just type in there. I usually do that just because it was easier for me. It depends on your computer and your preference. And not only would I suggest starting at about 30, but I would suggest that you go up in increments of 10 each time to try and get rid of that green fringe around your subject. And every time you change the value, VideoPad has to process the information again. And so 
Again, you have to be patient and it can take some time to do this. 30 is not quite enough. I still see some green tinge. I don't know if you can see it. There's still some green tinge around my uh, subject, around the object, and so I'll probably have to increase this more. 40 seems better. I don't, seem, don't see too much now. And if it's really taking a long time, just go out and drink something, play a video game, take a walk, rest your eyes. And I'm going to close the dialog box and take a look in our sequence preview. Looks pretty nice. You can reposition your object once you've highlighted your clip by moving the points. Grab it by the base point and you can reposition it up, down, left, right, whichever you choose. Sometimes this is a little hard to do. And it seems very graphically intensive to do this. And you can see VideoPad processing the information. Another way to reposition is to click on the effects icon. And then click on the add effects template and choose position. You can also access this position dialog box from video effects from your top menu. Now we have these slider bars and we have numerical values. You can use the slider bars or you can change the numerical value to reposition your image. I'm going to go to Sequence Preview so we can see where it is in relation to our video. Okay, it's down there. If I want to move it to the left or the right, I would change the horizontal. Vertical will move it up and down. I'm going to move my vertical slider bar to the left. And that will move your image up. And let's try the horizontal too. Positive number, and it will jump a little bit to the right. Put it back to zero, and it's right in the middle. And I want to make our vertical back to where it was, so I'm reverting that back to zero too. And that's how you can reposition your image. Let's take a look again. That looks like it's in a pretty good place. Adding green screen clips is really not that complicated, though it may require a bit of extra patience depending on your computer's hardware and software. Have fun with this. Thanks for watching. Tick that like button and be sure and sub to my channel. You can find all my video pad tutorials from the link in the description below.